Back to the devastating earthquake that struck Nepal. More than 6,000 were killed in the 7.8 magnitude quake, with more than 14,000 injured, countless others still unaccounted for. One of the agencies stepping up to help is Shelterbox, which provides emergency shelter and important supplies to communities all around the world. Joining us on the phone right now from Kathmandu is Shelterbox response team member Becky Maynard. Uh, good morning, Becky. Thanks so much for joining us and for all you do there. Good morning, Kelly. How did you and your team get these tents to Nepal? Um, we, uh, we actually had uh, shelter boxes pre-positioned in Nepal because we responded to flooding and landslides last year. That meant that we have a, had a stock in the country so we could start responding immediately. Um, we now have the challenge of getting more aid into the country, uh, which is very difficult in a, in a small airport in a landlocked country. But at the moment, we have aid for around 3,500 families uh, on route, and we're hoping to access that very soon. I was going to say there are so many people displaced by this, not to mention injured. Just how many tents are you setting up, and how do these tents hold up to the weather? Um, well, initially, we've been setting up a number of tents for hospitals. Um, the hospitals, many have been declared unsound because of the earthquake, or they've simply been completely inundated uh, by people with injuries. Uh, so we've been focusing on those hospitals initially. Um, the tents themselves are designed to withstand really extreme weather conditions, so from very hot to very cold. They're tested in wind tunnels up to 120 kilometers an hour um, and really designed to withstand the extremes that the world can throw at us. And that's going to be really key in Nepal in the coming days, weeks, and months because the weather conditions have been pretty bad. Um, we've had one dry day today, uh, but actually there are storms forecast uh, and we're just coming into monsoon season. So that durability against the, the weather conditions is going to be really key to, to helping people as, as they try to move on from this devastating earthquake. Absolutely, Becky. And by the way, where else have you responded in the past being a, a worldwide organization? Um, as a worldwide organization, we, we've been all over. Um, we've responded over the last 15 years to countries such as Haiti after the earthquake, Indonesia after the tsunami, um, and most recently we've been working in Malawi, uh, in Syria, and, and other countries surrounding Syria to help the, uh, the, the people dealing with the, the crisis there. Um, we've responded to over 200 disasters, um, and we on average respond to a disaster every two weeks. And if someone does want to help, maybe someone watching at home, whether it be donations or maybe even joining your team, how can they do that? If they can just search uh, Shelterbox USA, uh, they should go straight to the website. And any, any support right now will be hugely appreciated. The people in Nepal are in really desperate need. And we'll be working here in the coming days, weeks, and months, I feel, to reach those really, really hard hit areas, particularly in the rural regions. Becky, thank you so much for joining us and all the work that you do there. And if you want to help the victims of the earthquake in Nepal, there's a list of the charities providing aid. You'll find those links and the contact information for these groups at weather.com. All right, now let's head back.